<laughs> that makes no sense. Britain's Bengal is off. Hmm, actually Bengals aren't too bad. I, I, I think a lot of people have crossed a little bit of a... or turned a corner with Bengals. And they realize now Bengals are not that bad. But... They're still a little bit awkward to play. But... I don't know, I, I kind of like Bengals. I, I guess we still would prefer Britons. Oh, so he thought he would get... Ah, Sitar was supposed to play Hera. Ah, okay, okay. Well, that makes a little bit more sense then. But still. Bengali are like totally fine. Obviously not Britons, but still okay. They're okay, but... They just don't have a counter to Skirms. <laughs> or they don't have... Like, they can't really make any units. That's not a correct statement either. They can make units. They have amazing monks. Oh, good, Jakob. I, I misunderstood. I thought you were just coming in here to start drama. We've had a couple of those in the past. And I do not approve of super unnecessary bullshit. Let's put it like that. Everyone is pissed. <laughs> but yes, I do understand what you meant now, so all good. Have Bengalis ever done the 220 available boom with... Uh, 220 available boom with Bengalis? You mean that... Ooh. Since the population counts for 10% or you get rid of 10% villager population. I see, I see. I have not done that. Nor do I know if anyone else has. Yeah, go to Harris chat and tell and the, the Viper is pissed. Mm, should we do a little drusherino? Let's do a little drusherino. I haven't done one of those in a while. Come on, finish the house. Oh, that's a little bit. Okay, that's fine actually in the end. Uh, it might be a 2 to 1 ratio across the scrims is compared to the comp. You can play that and no one is going to think you're a fool, yes. Oh, my barrack. My barrack timing is off. Are it and her friends? Yes. Pretty much all the high level AB players are friends. I mean, not like we call each other on a daily basis, you know, but everyone is friendly and supportive and happy for each other. Except out. Okay, two deer is enough. Where's my second boar? Right there. Oh, I already took it. <laughs> Hard to keep track. <laughs> I saw blue, which means he did not scout my barrack. Which means I might still have a small time window to surprise him. Get a little drusherino. But he might get suspicious of the amount of houses I built already as well. Also, I don't really know where he is. This can also be a complete disaster. The outcome of this rush can be very different depending on the next. I'm just gambling that he is on the left, uh, on the right. My scout sees nothing of importance up north. So, kind of has to be. That's his main stone. Okay, so it's confirmed that he's there. I just don't know exactly where. 
Now I'm gonna run into the town center, so I have no information whatsoever. Kills Batman. That is why you scout if you do a rush, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. This house is weak. 20 HP. Never mind. That's, this has been an amazing rush so far. I think I'm going to take a very eco approach. It's not on gold yet. Keep playing scouts, maybe? We'll do a mining camp, but I don't think I will commit on archers. I want to know what building he's going for, though. Scouted him with a drush at least, yes. But we also showed our drush to him because I didn't know where exactly to go. Eat it! Eat it! Why, is the why are the arrows not hitting his house? They clearly went past and hit his house. In my opinion, that's bad game design. Where are you going? Oh, to the party. Ah, true. Enjoy. You can come and kiss me. You look very pretty. I don't have. I don't have camera. No. Yes. Get his range. <laughs> oh god, what is that farm? <laughs> what is that farm? I want to see him go elephant archers. That will earn my respect. Could have used a the macro there, true. Don't really want to overcommit on units though. Because I don't even know if he's making anything. I'm Britons anyway, we will catch up fast. If we have to produce it's a blacksmith and walling. No macros. Ah. Do I add scouts? I think I will add a stable. We have a healthy farm set up. So we can add a stable and like sneak in one or two scouts. But we do continue with range units. We don't want him to see the stable. That's the most important thing. Maybe he's hiding a stable as well. Good thing is, if he comes for counterattack now, at least we'll have a scout ready to. Okay, never mind. Get him. The thing now is next is Castledge. Oh, 
Oh, don't show the second scout. Wonder if he saw it. Do I make archers? Or do we just play skirms? Because, I mean, he's Bengalis. Oh, what's happening here? Why are my militia just watching? Ha! I had a second scout. What? He has a spear? Did he know? Let's do that. Temporary fix. But we still make some skirms. Uh, if he's also to on the way to Castellage here, which you'd imagine he might be. Could be a little bit of a pickle. We'll keep the range garrison for now. Actually, you know what? No, wait. I'm in big trouble. You can just play pikeman monks now. Oh no. This could be scary, actually. Hmm, what is my comp against monks? Guess 3 TCs, castle drop, maybe crossbow? I for one know that Bengalis are scary. Yep. This can be big trouble for us. Unless he went back. Which I cannot say. Okay, he's just here. How many spirits are there? Two. I think I don't want to waste my light cab here. Kind of need them to. We'll kind of need them long term. That's a TC. Right there. He's going elite skirms. Okay. Okay, I'm not that scared anymore. Wait, he has monastery. Shit, I'm scared again. I'm scared, folks. I lied. He's gonna try and snipe my scouts, because they are the monk killers. Run! Uh, let's do that. Try and heal those bad boys up. I don't like my spot, guys. I'm scared. It's Bengalis. It's one relic in the bottom corner. I wonder if you might try to go there. I think I have to play Skirms. Myself, hey, what? What happened here? It's just walling up. No. Yeah, he's not attacking at least. At least not yet, anyway. He has 3 TC. Oh, 
Grayton, Mandar, yeah, Chopper. Chopper. Grayton, Willem, yeah. Chopper. Ready. I need a market, but I also need another town center. It's a very awkward situation to be in. Need to secure this area with a TC. No, the timing! Uh, oh, that's horrible. No, not a monk. Well, that's probably game. Maybe in hindsight, I think it was super clear early on what he was doing. Just full wall and just use the eco bonus and sit behind his walls, right? So maybe I should have just been super greedy myself. And not actually done anything, kind of. Just uh, kind of go cast leash myself. Super fast castle and take eco lead like that. Now it's gonna be an uphill pickle. Five TCs to Megalo. It's only four. This TC is denied. For now. Also, I thought he was gonna go full monk push. It's kind of just played archers still. Crossbow and a few archers. I wish I just stuck with skirms. Let's try. Oh, no, 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 no. Leave my mangano first. Well, well, well. Split. Oh shit. Oh, that's a misplaced wall anyway. <laughs> Even though we didn't get a good hit. Hmm. Let's resign. This just all went wrong. We're too far behind economically anyway. That TC timing ruined us. Hmm. So he played, he just went eco and still played range units. I was expecting this to now turn into like a full monk pressure with siege. So my second stable in the end was useless. But he just played like two monks, two, three monks with his range units. He had a really good map though, easy to wall and just use that eco. That's Bengal's eco situation. Yeah, we're too far behind. Blind counter dies again. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I think as well, when I scouted him, I knew exactly what he was doing, right? He was not on gold, he built a range, his whole base was walled. So in the end, we should have just realized that there's no point for us trying to be aggressive. Like I made so many skirms in Feudal Age, even at a scout, uh, when in reality there was never going to be any chance for me to do any damage. <laughs>